Hey, what's up, folks? My name's Quay with the Quayway here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're exposing shady dealerships today. Not all dealerships have shady ways, but if they do, we're going to expose them the Quayway. First, we got to get their side of the story, and then we tell the true story of what happened. So if you've been done wrong by a dealership, listen to the end of the video. You'll know what to do to get a hold of me, look in the community things, send me them likes, Consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, and give me them sweet old thumbs up. Let's get on with this situation. And a guy contacted me the other day because bought a Chevy Equinox from you guys a couple weeks ago. About May 1st, I want to believe. Maybe May 2nd. It's a red one. It's an 06. And I wanted to get your take on this before I make a video about this situation and throw you guys under the bus possibly. Oh, well, here's the issue. We go underneath the driver's side and the passenger side and this bar and these trailing arms are broken on both sides. And here's our passenger side. We're gonna have to do both front and rear boxes. Yes, it even happens to the late model ones up to 2018 that I'm aware of right now, GMC Terrain and Chevy Equinoxes. So it's just not the older ones. So that means that all four brackets on this car, passenger and driver's side, need to be removed and replaced. Now, if you would have sold them this car for like a thousand bucks, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But you sold them a car that would have had to go to the scrap or nobody would buy at the auction. And most auction companies have the same rules. All frame damage must be announced prior to selling it, even through the lane at the dealer's auction. You could be like, well, my auction doesn't say that. Well, then why didn't you take it to the auction? Because I owned a car dealership for 15 years. And yes, I'm fully aware that automobiles are sold as is. This situation right here is the reason that pre-owned car sale dealerships have a bad name. When you do things like this to people, you really hurt the industry. Well, I want to hear your explanation of how you can justify getting $3,800 plus tax. That would be a normal price for a vehicle that didn't already have frame damage and you couldn't sell at the auction or to somebody who maybe knew that this was a problem with these vehicles like me. I don't even need to mention that you would have got much less in scrap. Problem is, is if I wouldn't have invented this bracket that would not exist without me being here, you would have sold these people a scrap car and wouldn't give two craps about it if a YouTube video wasn't involved. Hell, and you probably still won't, but it's gonna be here forever. Attached to the name and the address of your dealership, if you don't have a good reason. I'm not throwing you under the bus yet, and I might not do it in the future either, depending on what your reason is. You might have a good one. You might say, we told him, we sold it cheap or whatever. Just want to hear your side of the story before I lambaste you and your dealership on my channel. I owned a dealership for a long time, and thankfully I was blessed with enough scruples and morals that if I knew something like this was going on, I wouldn't allow it to happen. And if I found out after the fact, I'd be reasonable and take care of it. In this situation, this guy didn't ask me to make this video. He just called me the very next day, or actually he called me the same day that he bought the vehicle. And he wasn't even going to contact you guys. I had to ask him quite a few times to get your name and your number so I could reach out to you. I think he felt bad that he didn't realize that this was a problem before he purchased it. So he admitted to that. So you guys are off the hook as far as as is goes. But I think he feels a little bit silly that he didn't notice it. You had to know that somebody was going to come along that wouldn't notice that. Because the second section did not break away from the frame, it wouldn't bang until you hit a pothole. So there you go. And I don't do this stuff very happily. This is not something that I do, but... I would like to hear your side of the story. If there is one, no answer is only going to lead me to speculate. I'll pull every piece of information on this vehicle that has ever been put out there. And if this vehicle's seen an auction or I'll talk to the previous customer, I'll find out if you knew. So I don't recommend lying. Now we know there's going to be a part two to this situation. If you've been wronged by a dealership and you can send me the true story, I'm not going to lambaste people that don't deserve it. 
Contact the dealership and find out the whole situation. And because I owned a dealership, I'll know BS. So if you send me BS, it's probably not going anywhere. I, if you send me a true story and you were done wrong, I'll expose them for you. Maybe we'll be able to help you two come to an agreement and patch things up between the two of you. I don't have anything to lose. I don't have anything to gain. Since you don't know me, I owned a car dealership for over 15 years. So I understand customers and I understand the business side of a car dealership. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna just throw people under the bus and ruin people's business for no reason. I'm not gonna do that because I wouldn't want it done to me. So if you've been done wrong or you just need a little bit of help with your automobile, reach out to me on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I can't help you with that baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you with this whip situation. Please send me all the information about the story because I need to be able to reach out to the other party. I'm not gonna do anything without talking to somebody else unless they don't respond. And remember, no matter what it is in life that you're doing, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. Don't be the next of them, be the first of you. God bless, have the absolute best of days.